right, what I'm doing here, I've got a bit of music playing in the background. It's something I did quite a while ago. And I'm kind of trying to mix it in with speech, so I'm talking to you. You'll have this in the background, and it can just sort of just like drive me mental when I'm really annoyed you when you're tired. But it's the only way you can record sometimes. You have to just. Sometimes you have to just do it. Uh, people must think there's some magical way of recording music, but there isn't. You just record it into something, anything, a little tape recorder, doesn't matter. And then you have to figure out a way of getting it from there into a machine, into a computer, or wherever it may be. Then you've got to figure out how to put two tracks together. So, that thing there is the 8 track. I could show you it, but I'm too tired. I've done this before, you can smash all your equipment up. Look there. There. That's the 8 track. This is just a guitar stand. Right, so you put your guitar on that stand, bass, electric. So I use a guitar stand to put the 8 track on so it's kind of accessible and easy to use. But you think that's interesting now, you want me to, there you go, destroy all the equipment. And I guess we'll make ourselves. Right, now we've got to put it all back together again. So I can sit here and talk to you. It looks right like laid back and like right easy and lazy, but it's not, it's really difficult. Now I've turned that off. I'm sick of it. There. Right, now I've got my computer kind of sideways on. Look at that belly. I haven't even noticed that. It's quite terrible, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I'll do some weightlifting today. We'll stick that up on vandalism. Say, look, you lazy fuck. Lazy fat pigs get doing some weightlifting like that. It don't like makes you fatter. Eight, ten, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nine, sixteen, twenty-eight, thirty. Right. Now, reason for a lot of that weightlifting is the guitars. Um, the sort of play guitar, or piano as well, it hurts your hands, so after you've been playing guitar, you've been pressing down. It's quite good to have some weightlifting gear, because for some reason it kind of um, gives you exercise, but it kind of stretches your fingers back the other way. You can't really explain it to people. Um, not unless you're a doctor or something, but you have to... Uh, you have to just know that when you've been playing guitar, you know how bad your hands feel sometimes. They're really tough. This is in G. Me and my friend. He used to play mouth oil and he used to say you have to boil them every so often. So I might have to put some in the mouth oil, run it into a pan, get some water and put some salt and vinegar in. Maybe something like a bit of washing up liquid. Maybe a bit of bleach. And then put this in. 
and boil it for about 20 minutes. It boils all the kind of dirt and spit, spittle, and it cleans it all out. And so afterwards, you have a clean mouth off, and maybe I should do that because I've been using them for quite some time now. And then you put them down and leave them, but it's been coated with all kinds of crap in there. Now he told me that I was only 12, 12 years of age. He told me that. Looks like two and a half hours ago, and boil them up in the kitchen, and people were saying, Hey, what are you doing with those mouth organs? But yeah. I'm boiling them. Then I'm gonna put my head in and boil my head. No, so that makes them lovely and clean. Um, yeah, that's quite quite filthy. So those are two mouth organs. That's my tuna. See that you can tell that needs washing out as well. Good time. And they get rusty as well, you see. It must be fascinating when you're watching a video like this, you think, wow, it's just way more interesting than Bruce Springsteen or Led Zeppelin, you know. Oh, whatever it is you like, the clash, <laughs> whatever I like, the cure. No, here it's about what I like, you know, that's the way you do them. It's the rest of the world of media is pushing bands and musicians at you, but here I can push stuff at you. But I wouldn't, because I don't like it. It gets on your nerves, you know. All the way around. Right, I'll bet this thing. I'll just bit of play that. See, the problem is when you really have to play, you have to play a lot better than that. Very slow. You see, I'm out of practice with that as well. It takes doing all your mouth. It's like, that's probably just like playing a bugle or a trumpet. And really difficult because your mouth, you know, your lips, you've got to get used to it. And with that, you've got to kind of do it like this and make it sound uh, like the blues. So I've got some more jobs to do. I'm going to get me mouth organs and start boiling them up into some pans of water. So that's uh, what I'm talking about today. You don't realise this is the uh, the video of the um, the rock stars, you know the, the what is it the, the diaries of the rich, the diaries of the rich and famous, you know the multi-million dollar uh, rock and roll stars. They all do this, don't they? All like in their little blogs and. If you buy the videos, they, they do the songs, but they also talk about what it's like on the road, you know. Yeah, they have like <clears throat> the bus, and they always seem to be. I feel sorry for them rock stars, don't you? Rock musicians are always got to get in this bus, aren't they? Like five other guys. There's five or six of them in this 
bus and ain't got any space really. And they go from one gig to another. And then, say like in America they go, wherever, I don't even know, it's just so big, you know. And they're always on that bus and then they go to the gig and they perform. Then, Thought I saw one of your neighbors doing something. And then they um, do the gig. Um, and, and you also get videos showing you about the rehearsing, you know. I've seen some good stuff. Um, I forget all the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, a big, awesome band. I didn't know it was such a great band. You know, and, uh, it was about this uh, woman who was bass, she was bass player, and she got the job, you know, they had a bass player who left, and then she went and went for the job, and she became their bass player, and you got to remember, she's got like some really expensive bass guitars and huge amplifiers, so you know, it costs my fortune, you know, and then they've got to transport it all around. Of course, they have to rehearse all the numbers or a good, you know, a good, um, you know, I'll say like 10, 15 tracks, and then they're ready to go on tour. And they rehearse and then off they go again, just going, you know, 20 gigs, 30 gigs, whatever it is. They're from California, I think they are down the west coast um, and I played in like South America and this big concert. I saw it one night live, Smashing Pumpkins, and I really liked them. Brilliant. And then in fact it's then it it turns out that the, the guy who plays the guitar is um is the founder of the band and he's been playing since about fifteen. I mean in bands, you know, like all the time. So. So that it doesn't just happen overnight, you know, it's something they've been doing like all their lives. Uh, they always say they feel so blessed, that so pleased, so lucky that they could do something that they really love. And I think you've got to look at things like that way, you know, if you really love something, you should pursue it. Not, you know, give in and do something else. Because I think we rock musicians and bands they don't earn much money to begin with they, you know they've got to build up a following and so it's tough at the beginning but I bet it's tough all the time anyway it's always got tough sound checks and playwright you know like me you look how bad it was you got to boil, boil your flipping head you know, you got to boil your mouth organs up I haven't done it for ages this one I've even got a piece of paper on with C on to say it's in the key of C. La 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 See really this, this video, I think this, the person who would appreciate this one the best would be Angelo. Marinoshi. He'd, he'd like this best because I bet he's got his mouth organs there over in Warren. Where is it? Rhode Island. He's got his guitars. And I bet he's got some of these mouth organs, but he hasn't done any mouth organ and guitar pieces like Dylan. And I bet he can do those as well. Now, if he sees this one, he sees this video, what? He'll have his mouth organ out again and his thing around his neck. I've got one of that down there somewhere, I'll never find it. I always have one with the guitar, you know. Let's have a think now, see if I can play um, Blowing in the Wind.
Now that does. <laughs> so it goes. How many roads must a man walk down before they can call him a man? How many times must a cannibal? Oh, whatever, I can't remember. Must the white dove sail before she can sleep in the sand? Now that is like a really difficult melody to play, but to really work at it. And uh, luckily, that one is, is in the key of C, so it sounds right as well, doesn't it? And of course, if you go listen to Bob Dylan playing it, he might be playing it in G or A. Oh, this reminds me, I've got some old mouth organs somewhere, I've got a box full of them. I don't know where they are. I'd love to get that box out thing because they're in different keys. So when you're watching the video, you're not going to be hearing it in the same key all the time. So it kind of makes it more interesting for a, for a listener. And the listener doesn't know why it's interesting, but because you're not playing in the same key, key all the time. Really. Um, that's just my opinion. 18 minutes coming up. Pick me nose for the first time. See that cards. It's got like three finger cards. See, that needs washing out because it's not playing very well, but obviously it's me and I play all right. That's why <coughs> Mick Jagger is, uh, people <laughs> must think why Rolling Stones, are they any good, you know, and, uh, why are they so brilliant and uh, why are they so powerful? And reason, reason why is because they can play, you know, all of them, they all play, play guitars and they have good guitars <laughs> and Mick Jagger gets his mouth open. And it just blows you away, you know, he starts playing and plays like a real blues uh, mouth organ play, the harmonica, whatever you call it, blues harp, whatever. But he really is that good, you know, so. I hope I can play, that's it. No envious me now. Adios.